that little child with no father. For that man that doesn't have a place to stay. For that little boy living with AIDS. Can I tell you a story, tell you a story? You can lean on me. There's a man. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Pastor G from Life Church Waco. Man, we're in Red Sea uh, Studios again, here to encourage you like we always do, uh, or we aim to, hopefully you get encouraged. As a matter of fact, give us some feedback, man. If you're encouraged, if, if you know, I, I know some of you are like, man, I don't like the way that guy looks. J look, don't even look at the screen, just listen to it. You know what I mean? Uh, but whatever it is, just give us some feedback. I can handle, I don't have complex issues. You can, you can say what you want to say, but uh, give us some kind of feedback, all right? Anyway, let's jump right into this. Yesterday we talked about, or this whole week we were talking about how do you control your mouth, man? And yesterday we talked about how you're, you, what you say, it, it, it directs you in life, it guides you. So, you, so we talked about, uh, uh, about that. Now today, uh, we're going to say, here's, here's another thing you want to consider, is that my tongue can destroy what I have. Man, that's crazy. My tongue is right here. Hey, 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 yeah. I ain't Gene Simmons. I don't got to be long, but I, a little short. I'm a little short guy anyway. But, but this right here will destroy what I have. Look what it says in James 3, 5. So also the tongue is a small thing, but what enormous damage it can do. A great force can be set on fire by one tiny spark. Man, it reminds me of, uh, I believe it was in California. There was a, man, houses were on fire and man, there was, there was just miles and miles of, of land that was on fire and it all started with a little spark somewhere. It was just crazy, but, but that's the same thing with our tongue, man. We got to be careful with that. Careless words destroys a life overnight. Gossip is like fire, man. It'll go ablaze, man, and, and it burns everything up. Uh, and and it, it doesn't leave anything uh, 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 healthy, you know what I mean? So when you gossip and you do all these things, you understand this tongue, it doesn't, it burns stuff up, man. It doesn't give life, it doesn't water anything. It's just, it, it makes things worse. Here's a question, how many people, think about this, because of their careless, uh, careless words uh, have been destroyed? Think about that. You know, maybe in your own life, Maybe in somebody you know, just in general, think about that. Just as humans, how many people, think about that, have destroyed their, their jobs, right, their careers, by this little tongue right here, uh, their relationships, things that just matter all the world to them, man. Their relationships, their marriages, their reputation, man, just by this, this little tongue right here, just by, by what they say. Think about that. The tongue not only has the power to direct where you go, but also... Uh, to destroy what you have if you don't learn to control it. So what are we talking about? Things that you value, things that you have. We ain't talking about things that you don't have, things that you have that you keep, that you value. You can lose those things, man, based on what you say. You gotta watch that tongue. It's important. We're telling you why it's important, man. It can destroy that which you have at the moment. So be careful what you say. It's like a fire. We talked about that. And uh, those things that you care about, this should be enough reason. Those things that you care about, you want to keep. And if you want to keep them, you got to watch what you say. You got to watch your conversation. I know it sounds like, man, that's some little girl stuff, or that don't make it. it if you look at what the Bible says, it makes all the sense. It's not just me saying it. It's not, this is what God says, man. And we all need help. Who are we kidding? So look what it says in James 3, 6. It says, and the tongue is a flame of fire. It is full of wickedness and poisons every part of the body. And the tongue is set on fire by hell itself and can turn our whole lives into a blazing flame of destruction and disaster. Wow, man, that is crazy. It's right here in the Word. It's in the Bible, man. Proverbs 18, 20 says, You have to live with the consequences of everything that you say. You got to live with those consequences. I wanna, on the other side of that, there's benefits, too. If, if, if you watch what you say, all right, and you, you speak out of wisdom, if you do that, man, there's benefits to that. You know what I mean? Just an example with my wife. If I watch what I say with my wife, man, and I woo her and I tell her, you know, things that I know she wants to hear, and I watch what I say and, and don't just say something just off the fly and that I, then my end up hurting her because I'm not paying attention to what I'm saying or not thinking it uh, through, there's consequences of that. Man, I'll be in a doghouse. Pastor Jesus, not like being in a doghouse. 
and hopefully you don't either. But it can cost you your job and all kind of stuff. So hopefully, man, this is important what we're talking about today, man. Uh, we want you to keep the things that you value. Your job, we want you to keep that. Watch what you say. When your boss gets you upset or whatever, or you're around other people talking about your boss, or, man, watch what you say. Man, maybe, maybe, just maybe you shouldn't be saying those things. Think about it. Get into the Word. The Bible will tell you. it will set you straight. Proverbs 21, 23 says, If you want to stay out of trouble, be careful what you say. Smart mouth, being sarcastic. I know you got some bad habits. Those of you out there like, man, that's just so hard, Pastor G. Keep paying attention, man, to these shows man, uh, for this week. We're going to unpack a lot of what to do, and we're doing it even now. Uh, as we finish this, it says uh, in verse 7 and 8, reading a lot of scripture today, it says, All kinds of animals have been tamed by man, but no man can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. You can kill uh, somebody with the words that you say. Did you know that? You can just kill them, man. You can destroy a person by what you say. Very important for you to understand. Uh, and then it says, out of the same mouth comes praise and cursing. My brothers, this should not be. We're telling you this so you can be aware of it. No one's trying to pull out a hammer and, and hammer you with the Bible. We're just trying to tell the truth and expose some things that maybe just maybe you haven't been looking uh, or you, have, you haven't been able to see. But we're exposing that and say, you know what? You're human like me, all right, and everyone else on earth. And we have some, some problems in life. And part of that is because we're human, we don't watch what we say. And God is saying, man, you need to watch what you say, whoever you are. Not for me, not for Russ at Red Sea or anyone else, but for yourself. Because it's, we're talking about not my valuables, but your valuables. So this should matter to you, all right? You matter to God and you matter to us. And we want to encourage you today. Th hopefully there's something to think about. Hopefully you can make some of these steps and consider these things uh, as you think uh, throughout your day. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Here's my soul. You can leave.